If you guys are interested in more terrifying topics and graphic content, or if you just want to show us support for the videos we put out each and every week, then go check us out on Patreon. If you join, you gain access to all our backlog videos over there, so you can binge through all that content. You also get a new video every single week that is way more hardcore than anything we're allowed to do here on YouTube. Plus, you can chat with me over there, vote on what videos we're going to watch, and you can suggest topics as well, which we'll make happen and give you a shout out. So head over there, patreon.com slash scary mysteries, or click the link in the description. Scary Mysteries Twisted News. Donut shaped UFO in Switzerland, a Missouri woman found dead in killer's home. Terrifying cases of true crimes and strange events. Every week, Twisted News dives into two mysterious and scary cases currently happening in our world. This week, we're going to tackle the mysterious sighting of a donut shaped UFO in Switzerland and the horrifying case of a woman found dead inside her killer's home. Get ready for Scary Mysteries, Twisted News. Number one, donut-shaped UFO in Switzerland. The land of breathtaking, ice-covered mountain peaks, crystal clear lakes, green fields as far and as wide as the eye can see, and rustic villages and towns you often find on glossy postcards. It's no wonder most tourists from all over the world dream of one day setting foot in Switzerland. But more than that, the so-called playground of Europe is best known as the most liberated of all countries. Their views on almost anything are as progressive and objective as they could possibly be. And yet, strange news broke out in 2021 that seems to suggest that the Swiss are also as curious as anyone else in the world about UFOs. In November, a photographer from Zurich captured an image of what seemed to be an unidentified flying object. This UFO was rather unique, owing to its donut-like shape. In fact, the media now calls it the Donut UFO, and the public can't get over what looks to be a glowing round piece of fried dough. Amidst the hype, there were people who came forward to make sense of the madness. Apparently, the week prior to the sighting, SpaceX's Endeavour capsule had returned to Earth with four of its astronauts on board. The mission had them spending 200 days up on the International Space Station. It was an exciting moment for spectators here on Earth to witness as the capsule made its re-entry into our atmosphere. Much of the spectacle happened in the Gulf of Mexico, which is the site of the splashdown. However, 5,000 miles away from the Gulf, an object was spotted cruising in the sky and no one could seem to figure out what it was. This paved way to the idea that the donut UFO could probably just be part of the SpaceX Dragon capsule and not what others thought it was. And yet, there were those who strongly believed that it's nearly impossible for someone in the Nordic region to have seen the Endeavour or a piece of it re-enter Earth. A satellite tracker in the Netherlands revealed that it's impossible for those in Switzerland to see the spaceship passing through. Re-entry itself was over Mexico and the Gulf of Mexico and would not have been visible from Switzerland. The de-orbit burn prior to re-entry was over the Indian Ocean, so also not visible from Switzerland, the report indicated. So what could be this delicious looking thing flying in the sky? Scientists aren't really sure what to assume as well. Some experts suggested that it could be an out-of-focus image of a bright star and isn't actually moving at all. However, the original photos, which have since been deleted from Twitter, show light trailing behind the object. This implied that it certainly had moved at some point. Astrophysicists working with SpaceX also said that it could be the upper stage of a rocket burning up as it returned to the surface. Still though, they couldn't accurately account the object to any of the known debris that fell in the sky that evening. So in the end, 
No one really knows what the donut UFO actually was. And at the time that this video was made, the mystery still remains unsolved and most likely will continue that way. Number two, Missouri woman found dead in killer's home. Each of us has a different level of tolerance when it comes to the description and portrayal of violence. In this next story, even the most hardened fan of gore and brutality will probably wince once they know what this victim suffered at the hands of her captors. The woman, Cassidy Rainwater, was reported missing on August 25, 2021 by her family. A Missouri native had last been seen six weeks earlier with a man named James Phelps from Dallas County, Texas. Reports said that the 33-year-old had been staying with Phelps when she had nowhere else to go. Rainwater also said that she had planned on going to Colorado before finally disappearing a month later. A week after being reported missing in September, deputies investigating Rainwater's disappearance went to Phelps' property in Windyville, which is a remote community in the Ozarks, about 160 miles away from Kansas City. The 58-year-old then told authorities that the woman had suddenly left in late July and that he didn't know where she had gone, and the authorities took his word for it. Two weeks later, however, the FBI forwarded a cyber tip to the Dallas County Sheriff's Office. This information would eventually reveal the gruesome truth behind this case. The tip received by the Sheriff's Office contained photos of rainwater being held in a cage alive. The last few images then showed her in the most compromising ways. All of these were apparently taken on the cabin's property. With these in hand now, police wasted no time to arrest Phelps and his companion, Timothy Norton. Inside the residence, they found body parts stashed inside a freezer, and an autopsy was done afterwards to identify the victim. Both men were initially charged with felony kidnapping. During the detention, Phelps reportedly refused to answer questions without a legal advisor. However, his 58-year-old partner immediately spilled the beans. The court documents reveal that the older suspect had asked Norton to come over to his place and help him with something. He found Rainwater sleeping when he arrived. He was then instructed to hold down their captive's legs while Phelps strangled her. When this didn't seem to work though, the man went on to grab a bag and placed it over her head. She died after that, and the two then dragged the corpse outside and bound it to a gantry crane. This device is commonly used by hunters to process wild game. Once secured, Phelps began eviscerating and dismembering what was left of rainwater. We can only imagine how horrible and gruesome that scene must have been. And having finished with the task, the two men later gathered and carried the dismembered parts back inside the house. While the investigation was going on, another strange development occurred. On October 4th, a fire suddenly broke out on Phelps' property, and the subsequent report indicated the cause of fire to be arson. Interestingly, no one had been arrested for this incident, and despite this, authorities are confident that they already have enough evidence to prosecute Norton and Phelps. Due to its extremely violent nature, the Sheriff's Office decided to withhold additional information about the case. This involved the motive that drove the pair to do the unthinkable crime. The public, however, expressed their suspicions that the two killers could have been butchering humans and actually harvesting their parts. As unnerving as this may sound, the police have yet to confirm or debunk the grisly rumors. For such kind of violence, one might think of horror films like the Texas Chainsaw Massacre, Friday the 13th, or See No Evil, just to mention a few. Unfortunately, though, these movies would pale in comparison to what actually happened in this story. Not for the body count, or for the ways in which the crime was carried out, but for the sole reason that it actually happened in real life. So there were two of the most mysterious and completely shocking stories around. The world can be a crazy place, 
and Twisted News is sure to show you why. If you guys like our channel, then please subscribe and click the notification bell. We have three new videos coming out every single week, so sit back, relax, and get scared. Thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you soon.